All right. Well, you can see one item is uh, back on the menu due to popular demand. And the others are limited time offerings. But first off here, what? How do we open this thing? Oh. <laughs> All right, don't that look good? <clears throat> All right, let's get a thumbnail. And before we dig in, <coughs> please hit the big subscribe button down below the screen. And then also, let's hit that thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Three, two, one. Now let's get started. stuff um got a, a couple more limited time offerings first two have to do with their uh with their crave um with their new cantina menu and i believe after this one this one here will officially be finished and uh i don't know if you spotted them Get back. <laughs> but I'll tell you, what can we start with here? I'll tell you. I want to start with their Cantina Chicken Bowl. And now, this is pretty much everything in there, like... And they're standard, like, burritos and tacos and all that. No shell, just a bowl and all that. It's kind of a health, it's kind of also, like, one of their little healthier side items as well. So, I'll show you what you get here. They start with their slow, marinated slow roasted chicken. And you also get some black beans. Get the seasoned rice. There's some uh, lettuce and purple cabbage in there. And, uh, and there's also some pico de gallo. And some guacamole. And I think there's some uh, creamy uh, like chipotle ranch sauce. And it usually also comes with sour cream, which I had removed. So, not a fan of Taco Bell sour cream. But let's uh, let's dig in. And oh, I also mention, whenever you order anything off the Cantina menu, you also get their avocado verde salsa, which I'm glad is uh, back. But now, I mean, it's free when you buy anything off the Cantina menu. Otherwise, it's like twenty cents a packet. But now let's try, let's try a bite without that, um, dip without that sauce. Mmm. I like this. I think it's awesome here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that that ranch sauce definitely brings it on, and the guacamole is fresh as well. Mm -hmm. For the price, eight nineteen. <laughs> Considering it's Taco Bell, this is not too bad. 
Now, I wish they would have made a combo meal with this. <clears throat> and maybe throwing in a couple tacos and a drink. Something like that for like a little bit more. 819, because to me, 819, it's a little pricey for what you get here. But it's not bad at all. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I really like it. But let's add the salsa. And I figured, oh, well, hopefully that salsa, the avocado salsa, avocado verde salsa, definitely kicks this up. And so I figured this can the whole idea of the cantina menu is its emphasis on freshness and to try and compete with uh, like bigger, more fast, casual Mexican uh, chains. You know, like Chipotle and Qdoba. So, and I think this... This is a good way, you know, to bring Taco Bell to the new level. Mm -hmm. Avocado Verde sauce is great. This makes it a 10. Definitely makes it a 10. Mm -hmm. So with the salsa, it's a 10 out of 10. But you know what? I am tempted. Let's see if we can make a spicy Diablo thing variant. Because, you know, we got to hashtag Diablo it up. And I think one package should be enough. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it's a way to have Taco Bell in a fresher way. <laughs> Let's just say it's one of the few items Taco Bell's ever had that requires a fork. I mean, anybody remember when they had their protein bowls, like, years ago? <laughs> I mean, that should come back, too, you know? <laughs> I mean, not everything that Taco Bell has, you know, needs to be in a shell or something like that. <laughs> mm. While I'm on it, you know what I think? I got another idea. For Taco Bell. In case anybody from Taco Bell sees this, I should offer an option. Mm. We could, you know, put this and put the ingredients in their cantina chicken bowl and put it on like a little bed of nachos. <laughs> and just call it your cantina chicken nachos. <laughs> I'll definitely try that. Or, oh, hmm. Huh. Maybe put it on a bed of nachos. Or maybe on a bed of these. <laughs> so, and I also got Baja Mountain Dew Baja Blast to drink. That's a good Baja Blast. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm 
I'll tell you, the can- Cantina Bowl, 9 out of 10 without the salsa, 10 out of 10 with the salsa. to go here. Next time is oh back to the shallow. And this is the uh, Cantina Chicken Soft Taco this time. And it's got same it's got similar ingredients as we saw in the chicken bowl. It's got the uh, the slow roasted chicken, the lettuce, the pico de gallo, the uh Chipotle sauce, the shredded cheese, the cabbage on a soft tortilla shell, which, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like your, uh, tacos with soft shell or the hard shell as well. And you know what? We got salsa. Gotta put another packet of avocado salsa, avocado verde. Salsa on there. Mm. <laughs> and <laughs> and this taco is like two ninety nine if you get it regularly, but I'm pretty sure you can also order a uh, combo meal, which comes with a few other Taco Bell classics. And matter of fact. I think there's also, for a limited time, there's a deluxe cravings box on their app, which includes both of these items. All right, <laughs> now let's take a bite. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. That's amazing. So with the salsa, the the soft taco, I give it a ten out of ten. All right, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Man, I mean, I like how they grilled this up a little bit, which is not bad at all, and definitely. Adds, you know, some crunch to it. But, you know what, now, again, hashtag Diablo it up. Uh-huh. 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 There we go. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, excuse me, I'll put as we clean this up. <laughs> So both the uh, the bowl and the taco, 10 out of 10. And let's get the fries. You've seen, you've probably seen the me review those again. They come back like every few months. So these are your uh, like uh, potato fries that are coated in like secret Mexican seasonings. In there. And crispy outside, soft inside. Hmm. Pretty good. I think for three twenty nine for a large. That's not bad. That's all right. I give the fries a nine out of ten. And you know what? We gotta do. Gotta try one. And the cheese sauce. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Nothing that's going to stay a 9 out of 10. Unless we... And uh, how are we going to do it this time? Let's see here. Let's Diablo up the cheese. And. And we got a fork. Since we got a fork, let's mix it up. Until the colors change. This needs two packets of Diablo. Now there we go. Yeah, blow up the fries. All right. So that's about it here. Oh, one more thing. I think I was asked to. Uh, oh. Shout out here. I figured, hey, <clears throat> do I give a personal shout out to one of my new friends and supporters on YouTube? She has two channels. I recommend you guys go check out both of them. So, shout out to my friend Rachel, or Rochelle, I hope I said it right. And uh, both her channels are called Miss Rochelle Vlogs and Hey Babe 38. Awesome content creator, very supportive. Mm hmm. She does a lot of uh, like daily like live streams. 
She also does like try on hauls. I mean, try on vlogs if that's your thing as well. She's a great friend. Go check her out, folks. Thank you, Miss Rochelle, for supporting my channel as well. <clears throat> All right, and thank you all for making it this far in to it here. So we're going to go ahead and end this. <coughs> so the fries are generally a 9 out of 10. The, the uh, cantina bowl and the uh, soft taco. Are 10 out of 10. Especially with the av avocado verde salsa. And for those who are new to my channel, I encourage y'all to please hit that big subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell. Choose all notifications so you don't miss out on anything. <clears throat> and I want everyone to see, uh, want to see my hashtag, Robbie P2 Family. In the comments from everyone as well. If I see that, then I'll definitely respond. All right, or react and all that stuff here. But also, <clears throat> and also, keep this in mind, you folks. Go again. Go check out Miss Rochelle vlog and Hey Baby Thirty. Hey Babe Thirty Eight. But check out both those channels. You know, you'll love them. Tell them your boy Robbie P. Tell her your boy Robbie P. Two sent you. And uh, let's see here. And now, keep in mind, if there's something you'd like to see me review on my channel, like a uh, food or beverage, anything like that. Um, we don't take requests in the comments. Instead, I appreciate if you could just reach out to me directly for those. Or if you're interested in doing a food collaboration, you can reach out to me directly. Instagram, email, or X, formerly Twitter. That info will be in the description. And there will also be... A link to the Robbie P2 fan shop so you get yourself some official Robbie P2 merch. And I uh, guarantee I got one that says something eh, similar to this Calm Down I'm a YouTuber t shirt. Except mine's uh, punctuated a little more correctly. All right. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and there's another link in there as well in that description. So if you do want a personal shout out, Here's what I also ask you guys to do is reach out to me on Cameo. Channel for anything, any occasion. <clears throat> Start like 20 bucks, not bad at all. All right. So that's about it. Thank y'all for watching. So always, stay happy, stay safe, stay positive. And uh, video will end. When I finish the fries. Your boy, Robbie B2, out.